Should I actually get tri shoes? Bam. Learn from my mistakes. What's up, Traniacs? You know what? About two days ago when I first emptied out the entire office into my living room, I was a little bit ashamed of it, but you already seen my shame now and you're really not gonna have a choice anymore but to see it more times in the future, right Pete? Shameful, it's shameful, it's so messy. Anyway, on to today's goods. Now that I've got proper bike cleats on my tri shoes, I don't need to use my road shoes that slow me down in transition. And I've had a few questions about like, should I actually get tri shoes? Should I invest in tri shoes and road shoes? Why wouldn't people use mountain bike shoes when they can run through transition? Well, tri shoes exist for a reason. They're faster, they're better for triathlon. That's why they exist. If they weren't the fastest option for you, they wouldn't exist and pros would be using mountain bike shoes or road shoes. So here we're gonna talk about the differences between tri shoes, road shoes. So the differences between road shoes and tri shoes aren't nearly as big as you might think, but when you're talking about being as fast as you possibly can in a triathlon, the question is definitely answered very easily with, Yes, you do need to get triathlon shoes if you want to have the fastest transition you possibly can. And the reason for that is quite simply that most all tri shoes are set up to be easily slipped into. And you look at this, when I clip this shoe into the pedal, it basically stays like that. I've just got this huge mitt to put my foot into. Now, even when I try to wedge open the road shoes like this, you can see that I've still got a big cavity to put my foot into, but it's not nearly as big as that. Just look at the space over my hand there versus over my hand here. You've got a huge amount of space and basically margin for error to slide your foot into when you're coming out of transition really quickly. It's just whoop and in. And then in addition to that, bam, installed. Your foot is in and you're rolling. Here, you gotta tuck that tongue back in. Here, there literally is no tongue. You've then gotta do one strap and you've gotta do a second strap, which isn't nearly as easy to do as this. That's not to say that this is the design of every road shoe and this is the design of every tri shoe, but the premise is basically the same. That road shoes are designed to keep your feet locked in place without having a lot of movement because ideally when you're in a road race, once you get on the bike, you stay on the bike. In a tri, you get on the bike and you're moving around and you've got to get in and out of the shoes very quickly because that's part of the race. So it's designed to get into and out of as quickly as possible. It's also designed to be worn barefoot on the inside. So if you see this on the inside, it's just very nice and supple. Oh yeah, so supple, look at that, yeah. Whereas the inside of the road shoe, same sort of thing, but the tongue can be a little bit rougher. That's not very smooth. And you've got some hard edges that tend to be more prominent in road shoes. So then coming back home into T2, when you wanna get out of the shoe, this is also very difficult to get out because you've gotta press on that and you've gotta just get that out. And then maybe you've got enough room to get your foot slipped out or you've got to open up the second little layer here. Where is there? Boom, you're done, you're out. And as far as structure goes, triathlon shoe tends to be, in my experience, a fair bit more flexible. There's a lot of give in it because there's not nearly as much structure. You want your foot less sweaty so that it's drier and more airy coming into transition so you don't have a wet, soggy foot and develop blisters on the run. Whereas here, sure, it's comfortable. This has been well worn in, but you got a lot of structure here in the arch support. And they're basically the same in the sole. They're both gonna be ideally plastic or carbon soles so that they're really built up and stiff. And then you'll have tabs 
at the back so that you're level with the ground on your clips there and there. So yeah, question of do you go with road shoes or tri shoes? It's clearly tri shoes. Now somebody had a decent point on YouTube when they said to me that I think YouTuber Durian Ryder, who is a cycling YouTuber, he said that it's ridiculous that tri shoes exist, that people should just be using mountain bike shoes. Why don't people use mountain bike shoes? So that they've got the traction and the footing to run through transition. Use mountain bike shoes and pedals run through transition, hop on that bike, clipping instantly. Now here's my qualm with that. Number one, you're gonna have even more stuff to get through with than this to get your foot into it. You're gonna have more latches because your foot is gonna need to be more secured. You're gonna have a foot that is basically completely covered from the wind. It could get sweaty. It's not gonna be nearly as smooth on the inside as this. You're also gonna have a very heavy shoe and not a very aerodynamic shoe. You see a mountain bike shoe, they're not very smooth. They're very chunky. They're gonna grab a lot of air. In addition to that, if Durian Ryder actually did say this, I don't get what the hell the logic is behind that because think about it. You've got pros, people whose livelihoods depends on being as fast in transition as they can possibly be and all that you're saying it takes to be faster is switching from a tri shoe to a mountain bike shoe, I think they're gonna do that. Yeah, but they're not doing it. They're using triathlon shoes. That's why triathlon shoes exist. It's not a gimmick. If you wanna be as fast as you can in transition one and transition two, oh, and a um, little tip, don't be like me and look at the back of your shoe and go, oh, hey, look, there's an extra loop. That loop doesn't look very cool. You need that loop. Don't cut it off like I did. Learn from my mistakes, Trainiacs. Learn from my mistakes. Get yourself some tri shoes. Day four of World is Coming to an End. Triathlon Terran has the man flu. It's just about on the ass end of recovery. I'm not doing anything today, but uh, maybe tomorrow. Just a headache today. I'll catch up to you with a full vlog, with a workout, make up something to sound really intelligent that I think I know about um, tomorrow. All right?